My name is Keith G. Walker. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I'm a victim of family court corruption and law enforcement abuse. My name is Keith G. Walker. I'm from Seattle, Washington. My son was born in 1992 and beginning in 1994 I actually started trying to obtain custody of my son because of the situation he was in with his mother. His mother's health was declining. Uh, it was rumored that she was on drugs. She admittedly stated that she uh, abused marijuana and smoked cigarettes and her house was extremely unkept, filthy, and she started to suffer from, um, I think, some type of flashbacks because of the abuse that she suffered as a child. And because of this, I felt extremely concerned about my son. So I started going to family court and I started to try to obtain custody by filling out the forms my, by myself because I couldn't afford any uh, legal representation. And so what happened was I ended up going back and forth to court, but nothing would take place. She was allowed to do anything that she wanted to do. Uh, so therefore, I would sometimes go without seeing my son for months, weeks, days, and, and years. And after eight years, I ended up actually winning custody of my son. And two months after I won custody of my son, CPS took my son and returned him back to his mother, even though Superior Court only allowed his mother two days a week with two hours supervised visitation. And that was the first of 27 false accusations that I would receive in a two-year period. And actually, after that, it took me six months to fight those charges and to prove my innocence and have my son return back to me. And although my son, grade level went up, his reading level went up, his hygiene was excellent, everything improved while my son was living with me. But because of false accusations, they did everything that they most possibly could do to return my son back to his mother. So after about two years, my son was actually taken again on the 27th false accusation. The last accusation was that I was going to shoot my son. So I uh, got a knock on the door and there was a police officer, a sheriff detective, and a CPS worker. And they just burst into my home and basically held me captive for about 45 minutes, charged me with um, possession, saying that I had an illegal firearm, and basically took me to jail and took my son and placed him back with his relatives and coached her on what to do. So it took me another uh, maybe four months to have my son return back to me. And now, not only was I fighting uh, the CPS court, Superior Court, now I was actually fighting once again um, in criminal court. So after nine months of fighting court, I actually ended up being um, found not guilty of the charges, even though they um, were trying to get me to plead guilty and uh, take a lesser sentence or a lesser charge. But I actually fought and I was found not guilty and um, had my son and my son has now graduated. He's going to college and he's doing pretty good for himself.